Here are 10 powerful motion graphics that everyone must know in After Effects. These are some of the most popular motion techniques, so let's just get started. All right, let's start off with one of my favorite techniques of all time, which is blending your graphics into a texture. For instance, you can duplicate your background or texture image and then set the track mat of your graphics to one of those textures and then make it a luma mat. The blending looks good, but to push us even further, we can use the curves effect on your matted texture and then mess with the RGB curve until you're happy with the blend. And for a quick hack, duplicate your graphic for increased visibility. Being able to morph your logos or anything is a must and it's easy to do. Now, the universal way of doing this is by going to layer, auto trace. You can copy my settings, but when you click OK, you ideally want a path with as few points as possible on your mask. But feel free to repeat the step for your other logo or graphic layer. Now, create a solid layer and then copy paste the logo with the most amount of mask to the solid first. Then set the modes to add or subtract. But most importantly, make sure there's some keyframes and then move forward or backward in your timeline and paste the other logo's mask into one of the paths. And if you have an additional mask here, hold Control T and then scale that down into oblivion. Then just pop in some motion blur and that's how to morph objects. The next technique is being able to create a sexy flickering title. So create a stroke only version of your title and have a filled out title as well. Now on the normal fill title, go to animate and add an opacity. Set that opacity amount to 0% and then animate the range selector from 0 to almost 100%. Now, under advanced, set the randomize order to on and alt click the stopwatch for random seed and try time after 20 to give you that cinematic flickering graphic. And ensure you always produce cinematic work in no time with our free templates, cinematic transitions, and motion graphics. All here in our Motion Duck extension, you can animate projects in seconds with our 5,000 plus presets and update any template to fit your needs. So be sure to get your hands on thousands of templates and get our free pack in the description below. This supports my channel, so thank you very much. Now, border text, or specifically text that follows a custom path, is a quick and beautiful way to display information. For instance, on a text layer, create a mask with any of the shape tools that you want your graphics to follow. Then go to path options and set the path to your mask. You may want to reverse the path, but you'll want to add time asterisk 100 to the first margin. Then from here, you can use the echo effect and slightly adjust the echo time and the number of echoes to build your epic title. Speaking of paths, being able to turn graphics into stroke animations and then having a custom graphic follow that path is unavoidable as a motion designer. Now, the best way to create something like this is to have a vector object because when you right click a vector, you can select create shapes from vector layer and boom, shape layer in which you can add a stroke and then turn off the fill. From here, you can add the trim pass property and animate the end from zero to 100%. Now, if you want a custom graphic following this path, go to the root word path and copy it. Then go to the position of your graphic and paste that path data. And from here, match up the keyframes and the motion path and you have a nice and sweet animation. One of the most popular techniques is the slice and dice cut. So with a title or any graphic, use the pen tool to create a mask that will cut this in half. Then duplicate your layer and set the mask to subtract. Now, animate the position of both layers to essentially you know split apart like a puzzle for me i like to just use the arrow keys to move these apart now for the top layer add the drop shadow effect and adjust the direction and mess with the distance and shadows to get that right look and feel free to duplicate the drop shadow to further that impact and most importantly keyframe the opacity of your shadows to fade in with the cut movement the next vital graphics being able to create 3D text and most importantly, knowing how to fully customize it. With any title, make the layer 3D and set your renderer to either Cinema 4D or Advanced 3D. Now, you can increase the extrusion depth and add a curved bevel to your design. To customize all aspects of your text, you may go to animate and add any of these color properties, which for example, will allow you to change the color of the side of the text. Additionally, with enable character 3D ready, you can add a position and have this animate in letter by letter when you offset the Z value and then animate that range selector. And for the last tip on this topic, if you pre-compose your text and go to layer styles and add a stroke, you can create a more in-depth motion graphic. This next technique is really an undercover wonder as you can build powerful scenes and moments. For example, 
populate a composition with any sort of graphics that you want. They can be animated or not, doesn't really matter. Then import that composition into a main comp and throw in the motion tile effect. Animate the tile center and this will seamlessly allow your graphics to fly by forever. Additionally, try using the drop shadow effect if you overlay this technique on top of anything. Just beautiful. Another powerful motion graphic is creating liquid. This can be achieved by duplicating your work and then using the CC Mr. Mercury effect. And you know, this is a good start, but I like to spread out the radius X and Y and then adjust the birth and depth size to get that sizing you want. Additionally, these other settings are here just to help with the animation speed and type, but overall, it's very easy to stay hydrated in After Effects. All right, one of the best ways to create interesting gradient backgrounds is by creating a bunch of circles that consist of different colors. Then, create an adjustment layer and apply the Gaussian blur effect. Increase the amount like it's nobody's business. And you can also create a null object and parent all the shapes to it. And this will allow you to animate the rotation to make this all spin by. Lastly, to make this cinematic, try the noise effect and set it to around 12%. Then try the glow effect and increase the radius. And remember, you can stack effects to increase the effectiveness. And finally, try posterize to dial in your beautiful background gradients. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.